So what is cooperation? Cooperation is the ability to work with someone or with some things that will give you a definite chief main plan. So it's working together with the same goal, objective, in perfect harmony without no fuss, no... There's two types of cooperation here we're looking at. There's cooperation between people and groups. People join forces, work to a particular goal. All their efforts, all their hard work, their concentration, their focus, are the important stuff are dwelled into one purpose only, and that is to serve that goal. And then what's and then a mastermind is created. The other one is a cooperation between your conscious and your subconscious. So your mind has got two, obviously we all know this, some don't, you've got two parts to the brain. The subconscious and the conscious. The conscious is the one we can control and then the one we use every single day. The subconscious still works but then it kind of acts at free will, it's kind of involuntary. But then it, uh, this is all where most of our memories, most of the things that we desire, most of the things that happen when we're sleeping, when we're dreaming, this is what takes place in the subconsciousness and then it's always it's always working it's always there but we cannot seem to get full hands on controlling it but if you somehow merge your conscious and your subconsciousness something incredible will happen and you know harmony will take place within you this is when people say they come themselves or they find themselves once they submerge or once they combine these two together so in order you to to understand cooperation, you need to be in sync with yourself. You need to make sure that in your mind, you got your conscious, work on your subconscious, and your conscious brain to work together in it to assist you in your chief main plan. How do we do this? So the easiest thing you gotta do, well it's not easy, but it's just repetition. Write your goals down, feed your mind, feed your brain everything that you want it to do. If you feed it, if you keep drip feeding it, things will take place and if you keep working on that connection between your subconsciousness and your consciousness, conscious mind, things will start to move. But you gotta work on it. It won't just come with you just saying I'm gonna kinda meditate and get it going. You just gotta work on it and then keep writing those goals down, writing every single thing you want within you to work so that you become in sync. So once you understand these two process, cooperation will become easy. You create yourselves, you create what, what's called the one body. You know, it's just one body. We've got one mind in, one mind in sight and we're gonna do that. Just like an army, an army goes to war, they've only got one mission. Every soldier is gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that they get that goal. And that's what you call a perfect harmony, working for the same goal. Same applies when you're going to a gym, to a work. Same applies to those who want to start in businesses. You employ people to work for you. They all work for you, but they all got one purpose in mind. And then they create that harmony which just escalate you to the next level and, you know, gains will be in abundance. And then this will help you get you closer to your chief aim plan or chief main goal. So cooperation is key and placing personality will come in here because obviously being able to work with each other, work with people, understand where they're coming from, understand their background, understand what they want out of it and understand what you want. So this must be done at a nice, steady, unique and equal level where everybody's getting what they want but they're also contributing to the end long run in what you want. So yeah, this is the beginning, like I said, of organized effort. So everything that you do when you're trying to cooperate with people, even at the home, even when you're at home with family, it's all cooperation. Everybody makes an effort to contribute. Everybody makes an effort to make the family run, to get things done, to get you know the dishes done, the food, the bills paid, the rent, all of that stuff. So it's just really important that there is a bit of cooperation because it becomes just one brain. Then in the house, for example, when everybody cooperates, together it then becomes one brain it's just one body because you all count on each other you all got the same goal so that's really important so this is anything in life even within yourself within your body your body is you got your arms your hands your legs your glutes all of those stuff they're all individual body parts but then when they come to f to function they all work together to do to be able to you to run walk uh, talk sleep 
think, you know, act. So all of that is all becomes one and that's what you become a mastermind. And some people, this is where people, when they say they found themselves or they're like, they've gone looking for themselves. So make sure cooperation is just understanding, not just your body and your brain and how things work, but it's also about people groups and forming and working into working into one thing, working into working one thing, no, one goal in mind. So yeah, that's cooperation for today. I'm off back to work. It's a really long day today. Started early. It's about 3.30 right now. So I'm going to go upstairs. I won't be able to train today. No gains delivery today, but we will be on them tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you enjoy your cooperation. So being cooperative or being somebody who helps other people get what they want or the other way around is the most best thing you can ever get. So cooperation, amare, lights out, yeah buddy, keep it cool, stop it.